Welcome, my awesome friends. Today we are here with our friend Chandra, who just aced the exam. She aced the exam yesterday, and she's been very gracious to come in and share some lessons learned with us. So, Chandra, I'm really excited. Thank you so much for doing this for us. It's a pleasure to be talking to you as a PMP guru. <laughs> You're now one of the gurus. So, congratulations. How do you feel? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel very light today. Like uh, I don't know something missing, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, back up my mind, it was uh, always there. So it was today the feel very... The pen book was like pressing everyone down, and yeah. now you're free of that. So thank yeah, you <laughs> it's a big relief actually. Well done. But I've been with you for like, uh, three months, I think already. Wow. So if, uh, every day I attended these scrum meetings, you know. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This well, uh, scrum meetings and, uh, uh, you know, like doing the quizzes on a daily basis, even if mm -hmm. we attempt 10, 10 questions and, uh, you know, like going through the concepts uh, filled, filled a lot of gaps for me mm -hmm. in terms of uh, not only gaps, the terminology, you know, like uh, the, uh, those also helped uh, both good. in agile, yeah, agile and predictive. So that's where I built the confidence and uh, Good to, good to know, good to know. And just a quick lesson for those who have ideas and don't like sharing them. I want to give a shout out to Fabricio because it's because of his idea that we started having the daily scrums. So without oh. his without his influence, we, we wouldn't be having the daily scrums. He came up with the idea doing one of the masterclasses and we decided to run with it. So thank you, Fabricio. Good you are very welcome. I, you give more to me than I give to you. Oh, you gave, you gave to everyone on this occasion, Fabricio. Thank you so much. So, Chandra, a guru, you decided to put yourself through this journey, right? Why did you decide to take PMP? Can you just kind of answer that really quickly for us before we jump into what you have? You know, why PMP? Why didn't you just say, oh, I'm a, I'm a CSM, let me relax? <laughs> Now, CSM and PSM I took uh, recently in the last year only, but uh, this PMP, um, it's uh, for a long time I wanted to do because of my role, even though I'm not like a project manager or something, but I always uh, have been uh, managing a few people here in uh, US and also in India, I mean like offshore team. Mm -hmm. So I thought this is better in terms of, you know, for management in, to, for uh, career growth also, like, you know. Mm, promotions and all that so this was my long-term goal actually but uh, wow. with all the yeah I could not make it but after joining with you frankly speaking I made it wow. it's all because of you and all my you know Fabrizio and all the friends like you know all the friends indeed, yeah. indeed. <laughs> yeah. and someone is gonna ask this question I know Chandra someone's gonna ask but they're going to ask you how many hours you studied two weeks to the exam. So what do you have to say about that? I have to say I attended the meetings and just watched your uh, videos. Uh, because uh, otherwise I didn't have much time with the uh, housework and uh, office work. And you had visitors, yeah. you had family. Family was over, so you had to pay attention yeah. to the, the family. Yeah. But you were consistent in kind of doing the little you could daily, right? Yeah. That's right. right. And then a couple of days before the exam, you sent me an email. He said, Phil, I'm going in. I'm like, what? Is it already that time? And what did I tell you? Do you remember what I told you? The advice I gave you? Yeah, that's what you said. You, you'll be fine. Just, uh, uh, you know, go through that agile, agile mindset uh, video and also all the, I think another one you gave me, but mainly agile mindset is the one I had in my mind right. to answer all the questions. That's right. the main thing for me. Right. And you travel quite <laughs> far to get to the exam center, but I'm glad you didn't take it at home. So you went into the yeah. test center, you you got in a train and a bus, or how did you get yeah. to DC? I took bus and train. Were you studying on the way or were you just meditating? No, because see, like uh, I had to sleep <laughs> during, during the journey. I slept because I wanted to relax. But I, yeah. I went early in the morning, like by nine o'clock, like that I reached. And my exam was at uh, one o'clock. Wow, so, you went uh, early. Yeah, yeah, I went early. I just want to uh, 
uh, stay away from everything don't think about mm. anything i just wanted to review the con in a few concepts mm. so, so chandra that, chandra tell me this i'm curious because you and i we spent time uh together yeah. in the one-on-ones that you booked yeah so mm -hmm. we covered pembox stuff but we didn't yes. cover a lot of people process business we didn't even cover agile we covered those in other immersion meetings other meetings you came for yeah, yeah. so tell me going into the exam which of these areas did you feel least confident about that was that was on your mind i may not make it because of this which area was it yeah as you said uh, uh, see like before i took one on one with you i was uh, good at this agile that's what i i thought because I, when i was taking the quizzes that you put for agile i was scoring about uh, 80% uh, mm. consistently between 70 and 80% and i thought that should be good i don't want to uh, you know like put a lot of time uh, preparing for agile mm. and that's why i decided to take one on one with you for uh, predictive approach so mm. that even though you are given say like uh, you are giving some uh, quizzes you know in each area right like so those helped also like what is what are the next steps like for example identify in stakeholder management identify stakeholders and you know this mm. I, uh, next steps and all that yeah. And when I uh, when we had one on one, then uh, I, it was confirmed. I went through that video again. Yeah, so you know, I kept on asking you every day, Chandra, have you done your page twenty five? Where is? Pe yeah. I really <laughs> bugged you quite a lot about page twenty five, and I know you you read it to some degree. But do you think it helped when you finally got into the exam, knowing that flow? Yeah, knowing that flow helped, but not many questions in this in that area. You know? mm. So That's your right. exam was greater hybrid and agile. If you were going to put it in percentages, what percentage would you give to agile, hybrid, and predictive? Predictive is very less. I could, I think, um, I got only about uh, four or five questions or something like that. But even though they are predictive, the way the wordings are mixed, like it looks like hybrid uh, questions wow. only. Wow. So. Yeah, mostly Agile and Hybrid are the, uh, those are the questions. Luckily, thank God, you know. How much would you give to Agile percentage? I'm I'm telling, I think 90%. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> I and felt then, like that, so, you know, that's yeah. why, because that was my, uh, in, it's not my weak area. Predictive was my weak area where, you know, I was always asking about uh, contracts and all right remember True. That, uh, and you didn't yeah. even get a contract i <laughs> bet you didn't get one fixed price or cost plus did you yeah no nothing didn't was didn't yeah. yeah that was a good thing for me like you know otherwise the moment i think about that those topics i feel big you know nervous <laughs> but I, thought I cannot do much remember i sent an email if i pass i'm good otherwise i'll come back to you again yeah and i just said you're going to be fine yeah. because i really truly believed you had done a lot and even though yeah. it came on me unexpectedly because if i had known you know i would have kept on bugging you chandra it's this week what are you doing with you but you were calm because we had already done a lot in this daily scrum and i want to encourage everyone in the daily scrum to truly know we're not just playing we're actually doing stuff we're doing great stuff so yeah. chandra you got into the exam and you found question one. And how did you feel when you saw the very first question? Yeah, this time, see, like, uh, I didn't feel any, I, mean, I could do everything calmly. Like, I didn't feel that these questions are easy. These questions are hard like that. You know, basically, all of them are scenario based. So basically, I need to go through the question and understand what exactly they're asking. And uh, based on that concept, I could select the answer. Like, nothing like easy or uh, you know, mm. difficult or something like that, because the concept, as long as we understand the concept, we need to figure out which one to select. That is how I answered. Mm. So all of them are uh, same for me. Like, you know. Was there any but, question you saw and you're like, I don't even know what this means. Was there anyone like that? or No, no, no nothing like that. But the only thing is I was confused because of the choices that they gave. You know, they're all similar. And also the wordings in the question are similar. So what happened was like, like about uh, three or four questions, I had to keep going back and checking a few times. Uh, but then I realized I don't want to waste too much time because yeah. I was closely monitoring the time also. For, for uh, three, 
three, right? Like uh, yeah. six, for 60 questions, maximum, mm -hmm. like 70, 75 minutes, I well done. calculated. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Otherwise, you were, uh, yeah, you were well prepared. It seemed like we had talked about that a few times. Yeah. But I'm curious, when you were doing the questions, were you looking at the time, every question, or maybe no, not, no. maybe every 10, 20? Like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you take your breaks when you got done? Yeah, with I did. <laughs> wow, good, good. Yeah. And what did you I, do during the break? You just stroll out, do the usual stuff. Did you eat? No, no. No, no water? No, no. Any water? Water also I didn't take. I just used the restroom. That's it. Wow, you, you, re you really went hard. So, well, you, you went in at one. So you had time to kind of get some refreshments and load up before you went in, right? You didn't go yeah, I, hungry. No, no, no. Because I didn't take full uh, 10 minutes break, but, uh, you know, wow. just five, five minutes wow. like that. Yeah. So you didn't feel under pressure? No, this time I didn't feel pressure. So walk us through the difference between the first and the second time. Did you feel more pressure the first time than the second? No, last time also I didn't feel pressure, but the thing is there were a lot of lengthy questions and mm. I didn't know the approach how to read those questions. And that's where I had left with about 60 questions and I had only Ooh. like 20, 15 to 20 minutes. That's where was the problem. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. this time you knew that time management was your main thing and you went in proactively and you were looking at the time. So our friends really need to learn that so that they're not stumped because it happened to a number of people where their time ran out. So you went in yeah. for the second round. Did you feel like the first set of questions were easier than the second set or vice versa no, that's no that's right like these are all concepts as long as we know we don't feel like harder that's good easy, right? that's yeah, good that's one yeah that's good so the, but the question reading approach is very important for me like this time so i just mm -hmm. want to uh, share that so that Please everybody do. can absolutely help, uh, it will help for a lot of us so basically uh, see uh, the as we discussed many times, read the last line first. And then uh, based on the last line, uh, you see the answer choices that were given. Okay. And then now you know the context. And then depending on the need, you can read from the beginning or in between, you know, like we, sh we should be able to answer the questions like that. So that helped me see most of the questions. I didn't read full question actually. Mm, wow yeah. that's, that's so, interesting hmm. yeah so, so you I kind could... of got the idea and let's make yeah. it clear chandra you didn't just scrape by you got 80 80 80 which is really uh phenomenal yeah. you know because it shows that you had good command over the content so whatever yeah. you were doing it worked so so what else yeah, and then uh, some of the questions, when I read the last line itself, it is a straightforward question for Agile or any other thing. So when we read the answers, we can answer them. Okay, so we don't have to read the full question, actually. Mm. Like, um, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, Absolutely. Example, mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have to read. See, that scenario is just a waste of time to read, actually. Mm. Yeah. It's For just... example, like uh, let us say recognition, right? Recognition. Mm. It based on the we don't recognize the individual. We want well, you know the agile approach is to recognize the team. The team, right? Right. Just just to give you an example. That's a good example. Yeah. Yeah. So when I read the question, if I know the answer is there like that, then I just selected. I didn't even go through the. Uh, full question like that. So there were uh, about 10 questions I could answer like that. Mm. Yeah. That's and for example, uh, so there were like that some of the questions uh, that, you know. What about the drag and drops? Do they slow you down a little bit? Yeah, not really because uh, in the drag and drops, one like I listed here, see, there were about four to five questions that came. Yeah, so those were easy because we went through many we times. We did, those. we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, so those were simple, you know. So that's where, and I could even like trim over them and put them back and just make sure that, you know, like I could play with them like a couple of times. I spent 
I could have spent maybe more than one minute on those things because mm -hmm. we know those are easy, mm -hmm. but I don't want to make silly mistake and yeah, you know, exactly. get it wrong. So exactly. even for example, like uh, this um, avoid or transfer, whatever it is, like I don't want to make a silly mistake. So just mm -hmm. wanted to uh, mm -hmm. check on that one. Yeah. Uh, review that again and uh, and then uh, make sure that it is right, correct. That's what it is. Great, great stuff, great stuff. I hope you saw the shout out that Prazion put out for you on LinkedIn. Put out, put a shout out to congratulate you. So I'm really yeah, excited just, about this. Yeah. Thank so, you, thank you. Phil. I saw that I got an email. Nice, nice. We get we get really excited when we have stories, especially when someone thinks, "Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. If I don't make it, then you're gonna see me again." Especially when you felt that bad. For you to have killed it with three ATs is just, just so awesome. Yeah. So what what other advice? Uh, uh huh. I just wanted to pass, but you know, at the end, uh, <laughs> all ATs. Uh, and uh, when I saw the congratulations, it was like you know, I was in tears actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. You had worked really hard. You had done everything that you could, just like a lot of our friends here doing all that they could. And you just need to trust the process and just keep going. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I mean, mainly the concepts. So, um, in, so should I go through whatever I noted? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. So basically in terms of time management, like I was left with uh, two minutes at the end. Uh, so I was just sitting, let it complete. I didn't want to end by myself. So I could manage the time based on the approach of reading the questions. So that may help a lot of you. And uh, all of them are scenario-based questions only. There was no definitions except these uh, drag and drop questions, you know, those were the ones. But there also, some of them were scenario-based actually. We mm -hmm. need to understand that. Yeah, in that uh, second column, right? Where the, there are some scenario-based based on that. We need to uh, pick up the other choice actually. Uh, some of them are not straightforward definition questions. Mm -hmm. So as I said, 90% agile and hybrid and 10% predictive. And some of the questions are mixed up, the wordings are mixed up, uh, even though they are agile, but they, we feel that they may be predictive questions. Uh, and also a lot of these multi-year projects where you know we can have hybrid approach, right? Some of mm -hmm. the uh, requirements, uh, clear or unclear, based on those questions are there. So what will we do? Like, you know, when we start reading the question, we may think that it is predictive and we there will be some predictive options. So uh, if we select, then that it may be, it may not be correct, right? Like, so mm -hmm. definitely we need to read the question with uh, some of the wordings, but, uh, you know, some of them were okay to just skip and answer like that. So we have to decide, we have to do our judgment there, how to read the question. And so some of them say like last time there were a lot of them were very lengthy questions, but this time not many, not so many lengthy questions. There were short questions also, uh, like one or two liners or one liner like that. Uh, and uh, uh, questions, yeah, reading approach I already told. Um, <clears throat> and predictive questions, the CPI and SPI related questions were about two of them. Oh, CPI, SPI? Yeah, In hmm. mainly CPI, yeah. And even though the, I saw the predictive language there, but uh, I decided to answer everything with agile mindset only. That's it. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So that's what wow. uh, I did. And uh, also the, another confusing thing is they used mostly project manager only uh, hmm. and uh, talk about product owner and... Uh, all the other team members in the Agile team, okay? Hmm. So only one question was talking about Scrum Master, that word Scrum Master was there, only one question. So basically the concepts of Agile should be uh, very good. Hmm. And I got one on that uh, Myers-Briggs personality type question, one of them. Hmm. And Duckman Lauder, you know, based on that, there were a few questions on okay. that. And because that also scenario based, actually, this was mm -hmm. the situation. Uh, what can we do to change the situation? You know, mm. there are like five st things, right? There are stages. So this is the stage right now, or it was earlier. 
what can we mm -hmm. do to change it like that and okay. uh, yeah there were questions about yeah i already told about drag and drop uh, based on the conflict types type of risks risk uh, leadership styles and risk responses some of them are straightforward but some of them have the scenario based so you just have to select that um, the type of risks i didn't see we never discussed but maybe they are from uh, pinbox 7 or something but uh, i used my just common sense and uh, selected the answers so i don't know if it mm. was correct or not so uh, mm. that's what yeah uh, and I used mainly elimination technique. Uh, that's one of the main thing I want to tell when I use this technique, right? Like uh, among the four uh, choices, I could uh, remove two of them immediately. Mm. <laughs> then uh, only left with the two of them. So from that, I could select the best one. Mm. Okay. And uh, the, there were questions uh, about uh, uh, agile team, agile uh, team rules, you know, scrum rules and uh, ceremonies artifacts okay and again what kind of uh, life cycles we can use like iterative incremental and also you know the test driven feature driven so many of them are there right like so mm. there are questions on each one of them definitely wow yeah and uh, yeah and then uh, to, uh, and again uh, an agile like to show the progress maybe progress of the team or progress of the project. And if you want to show the progress to the management, right? Hmm. In in a predictive or in agile? No, no, in agile. Ah. Yeah, like to show the progress of the team and project and how do we uh, send the, you know, what? how do we show the progress to the management? So all those, uh, it's not artifacts, right? Like a uh, burn up, burn down charts and uh, information radiators, what kind of you know, information radiators and what kind of reports we can use. Mm. That, that uh, with the scenario based question actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also the life cycle, you know, like uh, um, all different types of life cycles are there, right? Like uh, agile, incremental iterative and all that so based on those one question one or a couple of questions came actually that's a definitely good one to look at <clears throat> yeah mm. wow and, uh, interesting yeah and again as i said when i read when i read some of the questions they look like those are predictive uh, questions but uh, actually some of the agile words are mis uh, mixed up there mm -hmm. Maybe one word will be there. If we miss to read that one word, then we may think that it's a predictive question, mm. right? Like so that so even though we don't read question, but we need to just a glance the, for those buzzwords and then see what can we do. That's that's what I did. Mm. Yeah, and mainly the project manager. What should in the in a certain scenario? What should the project manager do first? Next, these questions came. So I think with all these things, see, basically what I'll, uh, I'm, I saw as, as long as uh, the concepts are good for us, uh, there were no calculations, there were no questions on ITTOs and no questions uh -huh. on uh, crit critical paths or anything. So if, mm. uh, you know, like then we are remaining with, you know, understanding the concepts and we can easily answer based on the scenario. So in this case, mainly the time management is the, uh, a critical thing so for that as long as we know how to read the question and uh, you know the approach is very important to answer the question so that we don't leave any question so mm. then then uh, i think uh, we should be good thank you chandra great stuff yeah. very interesting so let's journey back real quick the first time you took it would you mm -hmm. say that there was more predictive or do you think or maybe you Maybe you were not paying too much attention, so it's hard to say. No, basically, see, I, I was left with 60 questions, right? So wow. I didn't read the 60 questions. Mm. So, so whatever questions I read were uh, lengthy, agile and hybrid, maybe some of the predictive, I didn't even remember, like three months back, right? Mm. So, but uh, that was the problem, like, see, uh, 
Uh, there may be some uh, predictive related, but when I could not go through all the 60 of them. Yeah, the last yeah, the last yeah, time. So it's hard, it's hard to tell, because I know they're always changing the exam on us. But one thing's for sure, you changed your approach from the first time, came on the yeah. program, came on, you were very regular on the daily scrums, and you were yeah. doing stuff, and you were serious, and we sat down together and looked at page 25 in the one-on-one so yeah you, you did all the right things you did all the right stuff and look at it yeah when i went and when i came uh, to you and for one on one okay so i could see where i am so i could mm-hmm. repeat those uh, that uh, video for a couple of times and, oh uh, nice nice yes. yeah that's awesome that's awesome so for folks who who uh, want a one on one just go on down to pmanonymous.com and I really like Chandra's seriousness because she said, yeah, I know I could be in, in the daily scrum. I know I could be in immersion, but I just want one-on-one to find my unique gaps. And we sat down yeah. for over an hour and honed in on every part, every one of those 49, so that she would understand in her own way what each of those uh, processes were. And I'm really, really so glad you did that for yourself. And uh yeah. You don't need to be in class ever again. <laughs> <laughs> see, the main reason I did that one-on-one, one more thing, feel like you see, I'm not getting enough time to go through that PIMBAC or mm-hmm. agile practice guide or all those things. Uh, so, you know, like just to capture, even though we did, uh, you covered a lot, like uh, each area, very detailed, and we did the quizzes. Based on that, I just wanted to wrap up by doing mm-hmm. one-on-one. It was so a good that, choice. It was yeah. a great choice, and I'm really glad that you did that. Yeah. So people normally ask this question, what would you do differently? I think the first time, all the things you would have done differently, you did them. The second time, you pace yourself. So when the time came, you weren't under crazy pressure to just do like crazy all night, all nighters, like 24, 24 hours a day study. No, you kind of already had gotten the studying down pat. When it came to people process business, you'd heard it so many times in the daily scrum. I can't count how many times we've gone over that. So all the things that you needed to do differently, uh, you you did them. All right. Well, with that, I know you need to go places, Chandra. You got any questions? Ask our guru. Do you have any questions for Chandra? Come on now. Don't be shy. She's one of us. (laughs) Yeah, and I'm happy to join uh, you know, if anybody has any questions, uh, all of you can do well and just to keep up with the momentum and uh, as long as you are good with the concepts and time Chandra. management, you'll be do good. Chandra, yeah, Taji. Taji. Yeah. So um, how long ago did you start with Phil? How long were you working with him before you, you took the test the second time? Three months only, Taji. Three months. Wow. Okay. Great. Yeah, and I uh, from that time onwards, like I've been attending only the scrum meetings. Frankly speaking, this is this was the one I did actually. Well, great, congratulations again. Thank you, Taji, and uh, good luck to you all again. And I want to see thank everyone you. to thank complete. You. Thank, yeah. you, thank, thank you, Chandra, and thank you thank to you. your family for letting you. for letting us borrow you this evening for a little bit. Tell them we appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I came out on a different uh, work, so that's ah, what. awesome. So awesome. from there only I'm talking, and Good. I want everyone to complete your uh, exam and uh, successfully, and you all can do it. Only thing is just concepts and agile mindset. Um, that is what is working out. I think these days, as Fabricio is telling, a lot of people are passing. Maybe that is the mindset we should have, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll you'll be good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wish you all good luck. And anytime, please, uh, I can answer anything if you if you need me. But I think you all are good, better than me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, you very much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Kendra. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.